From Douglas Park in Regina, this is Max TV Local On Demand. The Saskatchewan Cricket League will play for the SaskTel Cup today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, Prakar Srivastava, thanks for being here. You're going to provide a whole bunch of expertise for us today. I'm a bit of a novice with the cricket, but uh, let's talk first about the teams we're going to see in the championship mm -hmm. final today, and in specific, United, because we're going to take a look at the last couple balls from that semifinal, and it was exciting. Absolutely. That was one super hitting by Irfan from United. Uh, they needed 18 runs to win. It came down to the last two balls, and they did it. So they definitely deserve to be in the final here and face up against the Saskatoon Knight Riders shortly. What do you know about uh, the Knight Riders? What kind of game are they going to bring to the pitch here today? They are a very aggressive team. They have been topping the table in Saskatoon over the last couple of years. Last year they won the league, so this will be their second attempt at trying to repeat what they did last year. Uh, very impressive team, lots of big hitters. We should be seeing a lot of sixes and boundaries. And the same applies to United. Lots of big hitters, as you just seen there. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about the 2020 game. What is the format here? So each team gets 20 overs. Each over consists of six balls, so about 120 balls. The first team will go and try to make as many runs as possible in those 120 balls, and the second team will try and make those many or more. We can't wait to get it started. It's not a great day here at the park. It's cold, it's a little on the breezy side, but the players are warmed up and ready to go. Stick around. The Saskatchewan Cricket League play for the SAS Tail Cup next on Max TV, local on demand. All right, we are ready to go, I hope. We can stay warm enough <laughs> for the duration of this game up here. Uh, Prakar, what's what's all set up for the start here? Who do we have bowling and uh, who will we have at the bat? So Knight Riders, they uh, are fielding first. So they're the team with the bowlers. Manpreet Kalsi is ready with the ball. You can see him. The two openers for United are Bedar Bakht and Irfan Muhammad. I think they might be just waiting for an official to tell them it's a go, and it is a go. And here we go. The Sastel Cup. Manpreet Kalsi, right arm bowler, balls medium pace. Was that a good ball? That's called a white ball by the good umpire. One. Arms outstretched. That was outside the limits of the play. So already, one point, one run. That's correct. United not, is not off the, the mark. Not the kind of start you want yep, in a championship. Absolutely. United off the mark. Ready to go again. And that one, he just lets it go. That certainly looked like it was good to swing at. That was a good ball. It's a brand new ball. Uh, it's breezy out here today, so the ball tends to move around a little bit in the air does its own thing. So the batsmen have to be watchful here for the first little while. Get their eyes in, make sure they're seeing the ball properly, understand what the ball is doing in the air. Yeah, the wind really has a bearing on the game here, doesn't it? That one is hit a long way for six. Yep. Beautiful shot there by Irfan. The hero of United's last game. He single-handedly won them that game and brought him down this far. And he's just continuing from where he left. Beautiful shot. It looks so effortless <laughs> when he swings. Strong man. Oh, absolutely. And the wind is definitely helping his cause there. Sure. It kept, just kept going. Beautiful shot there. No helmet, he's brave. It's a good comeback there by the bowler after getting hit for six. Gets a defensive shot from the batsman. That's a dot ball. No run scored off that ball. Samit Vij was able to uh, grab it quickly, get it back to the pitch. Kalsi again. Another good ball there by Kalsi. 
That's a really good comeback by Kelsey after getting hit for six runs. You mentioned that he's a medium velocity bowler. Mm -hmm. So does he rely primarily on spin on the ball? Absolutely, yeah. The medium, he's not very quick. Uh, he relies a lot on the movement in the air of the ball. The wind definitely helps his cause. It's another beautiful shot there. Straight down the ground, six more runs. That is, by the way, <laughs> as uh, Prakara mentioned, the direction the wind is blowing. So when the batsmen are hitting in that direction, the ball's going to carry. You get enough air on the ball, it's going to go. The flatter you hit it, the longer you have to hit it. But a day like today with 30K winds, get it up high enough and it's going to go for six. It's not a very big ground here we got, about 65 yards from the center. That one's got a chance too. Not in the air, but that should be four. Beautiful start here for United. Yeah, like you said, picking up right where they left off in that exciting semifinal. Another look at it here. Just so smooth and comfortable back there. And the bowler is not offering much pace on the ball there, so all the work has been done by the batsman, and he must be seeing the ball big. It's effortless batting there by Irfan. Better to face to Guggen. So they'll switch sides. Now the batsman will be working into that wind a little bit. Better is one of our under 16 players for Saskatchewan. Very talented batsman. Under 16? That's right, he's 15 years old. You're kidding 15 me. 15 and some. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, playing with the big boys. Playing with the big boys today, yeah. Absolutely. Very reputed. Here it comes. Swing and a miss there. Duggan, very similar to Kalsi. Right arm bowler. Ball's medium pace also relies on swing. As you can see, the ball is new. There's breeze out there. So most teams early tend to tend to rely on, on the new bowlers. You will see as the game progresses, they start using different types of bowlers, slow bowlers, guys with a little bit more pace. Oh, chance and a drop. That was a great effort. Straight in and straight out there. United could have been a wicket down there. For the uninitiated watching here today, I can tell you through the course of this match, you will probably see some outstanding catches. And that was almost one of them. Another good ball. By Gavin. So the teams that we're seeing here today, would these be teams that have played together through the season or when it comes to this championship, do teams supplement their rosters a little bit with players that maybe they didn't play with all year long? No, they, they set their rosters early in about May. Yep. And then it's uh, basically the same set as 15 to 16 guys. Yeah. Another good looking shot there. One run added to the total. United, who's uh, batting right now, are undefeated this year. They have not lost a single game. Here's another look at that. Good running, very, very quick between the wickets Undefeated there. on the season, and how much more dramatic does it make the fashion in which they got into this championship final? Because they were down to just uh, 
a few balls left in regulation, so to speak, and had to come uh, into that overtime and, and knock it out of the park, literally. And, and that's not a normal occurrence here in this league. You yeah. see very few games going into overtime. Definitely would... deserving winners of the Regina League here. Yeah, I should have mentioned uh, the United team, based out of Regina. Eighteen right now. There will be two innings in the game. United will bat. And then in the second innings, Saskatoon will have to match, well, <laughs> beat their score to win the championship. And a couple more come in. Saskatoon Knight Riders are defending champions of the T20 trophy here. Two easy runs for United. That'll be good for one more. That's really good batting by United. They're making sure that they're getting runs off every ball that they're facing, either a six or at least one run. They get 120 balls to make as many runs as possible. and So you don't always have to swing for the boundary. Not necessarily. Sometimes the bowler is just good, and you have to give them credit. Cloud seems to be thinning out. Maybe, just maybe, it'll warm up a degree or two out here. Playing the game in this type of weather condition, is that difficult? Would you prefer a lot warmer than this? Oh, absolutely. Ideal playing temperature is about 20 degrees. You're not sweating too much. It's still nice enough to be out in the park, enjoy the sun. The most difficult aspect is actually catching the balls. We have no gloves, as you can see. Yeah put a little sting on you when it's this cool. Oh, that's going to work. All the way to the boundary and over the line, so another four. That's white ball signal by the umpire. Batson made no contact and was well outside oh. the playing surface there. I totally missed that. And I thought he turned around and whacked it. <laughs> sure looked good. Yeah. <laughs> that's how good my eyes are. That's one thing about uh, watching a cricket game. As a broadcaster, you're not very close to the action. <laughs> Knight Riders have brought in Sumit Fitch, also a right-out medium pace bowler. Kalsi just got that one over. Looks like he has a little bit more heat with the ball. Swing and a miss by Irfan. <laughs> Is he going to get that call? Well, I think that was just more friendly banter between the umpire and the team. <laughs> it's always a good idea to get the umpire on your side early, you know. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> and the last thing you want to do is uh, make the umpire angry. The two umpires today are Kuram Hussain and Lucky Singh. Lucky Singh just running over to his uh, mark. Long run up for these bowls. You can see right away between Gagan and Sumit here. Sumit is a lot quicker. Longer run up. That one is catchable. Chance. And that's it. That's Perfect. a first wicket for Knight Riders. Very, very good catch. Those are never easy. They're up in the air. They're swirling. Take some catching those ones. Up in the breeze, and he got underneath it and played it perfectly. Look at that. Very safe hands there by Manjeet. He's a happy camper. I haven't yet tried to catch a cricket ball with my bare hands. 
I've uh, I grew up around baseball, and I can catch a baseball with a bare hand if someone tosses it to me. But if uh, it was that high in the air, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Well, let me just say I'm happy I'm here and not out there right now. <laughs> I'm a, just a little bit nervous being here because some of these guys have launched it today, and we might have to make a life-saving catch up here. Well, I got you. Got your, me covered. I got your back, Heath. <laughs> <laughs> New batsman in is Simran Dosanjh. Plays for the Saskatchewan provincial team and the Regina team, as well as his club United. And it looks like the Knight Riders are going to move a man around here a little bit. Do a lot of batters have tendencies? Or is it the way that the, the, that they're going to throw the ball to him that sets the defense? Are they moving because they're going to try and force him to hit it in that direction? It's a combination of both heat. That's a very, very good ball. Good bounce on that one. Excellent running as well. It is a combination of both. Every batsman has their strengths and weaknesses. And as a bowling team, what you want to try to do is make the batsman play in areas that he isn't very comfortable playing in. So you can see there, he played it very, very well in good control of that ball. Predominantly an offside field. For better, just two men on the leg side and everybody else is on the offside. And he found a gap there. And they will score at least two here, it looks like. That's a strong area for Beather. It's called the point and gully region where he just played that ball. Every field position that you see has a name associated with it. You can see there, fielder at gully, a fielder at point, and he still got it through for a couple of runs. So it's not all about power when you are the batsman. A lot of finesse involved here. Absolutely. And you got two guys all out there batting right now who play with a lot of finesse. None of them are power hitters, but they get lots of runs just by manipulating where the fielders are. So if you're the, the batsman that is uh, being thrown toward and you have the other uh, batter running with you, when can that batter start to run on the other end? Uh, you obviously run once you hit the ball, but the person that you're matched up with batting on the other end, when can he begin to make his move? As, as soon as the bowler releases the ball. So the instance when the ball leaves his hands, that's when the ball, the other batsman can take off. Start. Mm -hmm. Creeping a little bit. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. You want to get as much advantage as possible to try and steal that one run. I have a lot of questions about the sport, so I might, I might grill you throughout the match here today. Thirty for one. United. After three overs, that's a pretty good start. They're knocking at 10 runs per over. Good rate. That's a good rate. Look out. Ooh, <laughs> chance of a run out there. If the bowler was to hit the stumps and the batsman was short of his crease, he would be given out. Had a good throw at it. Just missed. Gagan continues. Up and over. And two runs. So the umpire signaled a short run here. One of the batsmen was unable to cross the line 
when returning to the second run. And what is the penalty for that? You get docked one run. You just don't so get the run. they took two runs, but this will only go on the scorebook as one run. You must cross that line and touch the ground. Absolutely. At the line or across it. That's into a gap. And I'm sure they'll make sure this time with those runs. Easy two there. A strong okay. offside player, Better. You almost have to target his body to try and miss, prevent him from scoring runs. Anything outside the off stump, he will try and make runs of those. Swing get a miss. Just over top of the wicket, too, I think. That was close. close. Mm -hmm. The pressure is building. There hasn't been a boundary in a while. So you can see the batsmen are getting a little agitated, trying to get that 1-4 or 1-6 somewhere, help the score move along. What would you anticipate is a normal, an average, or, or a, let's say a, a, a real good score? In a Edged and oh. dropped. Chance of a run out. Yep. Waiting for the umpire signal here. Let's and that's the, the end of Better. They got him. Now the freak dismissal there in the end. A straightforward chance to catch him out. Which Knight Riders failed at, but uh, ended up having to run out. Oh. Inflection. Almost. Jeff Bresh there at first slip. He's one of the better fielders in that team. There's a little bit of a gamble running at all there, but I guess once you hit the ball, you, your instinct is to go. Next batsman in is Rashid. He's in very good form right now. Last three games, he has made 50s. 15 the quarterfinal, 15 the semis, and 15 the Regina final here this morning. So he's the form batsman for United. It's a good start for Knight Riders. There are two wickets they've taken early for United. Each team gets 10 outs, or wickets, as we call it, refer to them in cricket. United is two out already. So Knight Riders, I think, would be happy with this start. It's an interesting game to the uninitiated in that one team bats for a long time and keeps racking it up but you're suggesting that Knight Riders are doing quite well. No runs on that. That's the end of the over. Four overs done. Uh, 33 for the loss of two wickets. How are you keeping track of how many overs are done already? <laughs> so every, every, every time the bowler switches, so you can see we started from the far end, uh -huh. facing the trees. That was over number one. And then every time they switch, that's the overs. Gotcha. Each over consists of six balls, six legal balls. So if there's a white in there, then that's not counted in the six balls, like we've seen there earlier. Would these two teams have played each other through the course of the season? Do you ever have uh, Saskatoon and Regina teams uh, back and forth playing one another? Uh, not in the 2020 format. These are two independent formats. Saskatoon has their own league that they operate, and Regina has their own league. Yeah. And the winner of each league meets for the big game, which we're seeing here today. Beautiful shot. A boundary? Yes. That's a cover drive. That's one of the better cricketing shots you'll see out there, Heath. He hit it hard. You don't want to get in front of that one. <laughs> 
that semifinal today, we saw a really hard hit ball through the hands of one of the fielders, and it struck him right in the chest, and he was down for a little bit. That ball, folks, it's, it's not rubber. It's not bouncy. It's hard. It's like a baseball. Maybe even a little heavier, a little more dense. So imagine that when it's hit hard, catching that with your bare hand. Change in bowling again. Kalsi is back. There's one run. That last over by Sumit was, seemed like a tactical move to try and get the big hitter out. They brought him in for one over. He got the big wicket of Irfan. And now they're back to Kalsi bowling. So that was some good captaincy there by Taj, who's a Knight Riders captain. How much is the wind a factor? I just saw Rashid pick up a little bit of grass and throw it just to see. And he's a batsman right now, and, and he's trying to get a feel for how much breeze there is. Interesting. Good bowling by Kalsi. Wicket to wicket. The batsman has to make all the moves. And there's always risk involved when you're playing balls that are directed at you. Right. Because if you miss and the bowler hits, you're out of there. That's going to be in there. I'll score a couple wasn't in full control of the ball. It took the outside edge of the bat. He was trying to hit it straighter. But it went quite square. You can see he was targeting to hit the ball on top of Sumit. Oops. Another chance there and dropped. On a warmer day, perhaps. <laughs> a little more feeling in your fingers. It's never easy for the bowler to try and take a catch on their follow through because yeah. they're coming in a different direction. The ball is traveling in a completely different direction, and uh, it makes for some good catching. Not a lot of time to react, but. Kalsi seems a little disappointed there. So, 40 runs scored here in the first innings. And it is Regina's United that will continue to bat. Excellent fielding there by Manjeet. Little throw away, but it's not costly. Not out, says the umpire. So we got two teams here which are good at different aspects of the sport here. So Knight Riders is a very, very batting heavy team. They have some very big hitters, some very, very good batsmen. United, on the other hand, have better bowlers than they have batsmen. Outside edge for one run. They have very good variety in their bowling. They have a couple of really good spin bowlers, slow bowlers, two very good medium pace bowlers. Not in control of that shot at all, Simran. So how many bowlers would you normally, in, in this format, in this 2020, would you uh, have 
on a team or how many would bowl in the game. You, you have a maximum, I suppose, of how many uh, overs you can bowl? Yeah, so each bowler can only bowl a maximum of four overs. So in a 20 over game, you need at least five bowlers to constitute that uh, 20 overs. Most teams typically carry more than that because, you know, some bowlers don't necessarily have a good day or a batsman takes a liking to a certain type of bowler. So you got to be able to change things around. Once a bowler starts an over, though, can they take him out or he has to finish? He has to finish his yeah. six balls, yes. Eleven players on each side and uh, a lot of who plays depends on the balance that a side wants. So typically you'll see four bowlers, three guys who can both bat and bowl, one wicket keeper, and your four batsmen. That's a typical balance of a team that they go with. So you'll have about six or seven bowlers that you can rotate around. Another swing and a miss. This is good bowling by Knight Riders. They're not getting any loose balls for the batsmen to hit out of the park. So as it is going right now, United is probably starting to get a little bit frustrated with the lack of runs. We've seen what happened the last time. There was a bad shot by Beather. Another chance there goes a begging. That was Sumit. Off the hands. We'll probably see much of the same when United comes out the field. It is cooler. Your hands aren't quite primed for catching. That was straight in and out there. It would have been a good catch, though, uh, on, on a hot shot like that. That was to him in a hurry. It's a wayward ball. Way down the leg side. Umpire signals wide. Those markings is what identify the white balls. Anything that's down the batsman's legs is an automatic white. And on the offside, there's a marking that the umpire uses as a guide. Another swing, and that's the end of the over for Guggen. So they'll flip ends here again. I'm glancing at the sky, and I'm grateful that it is not going to be rainy here today. As gloomy and gray as it is, we're going to stay dry. If it starts to get a little bit rainy, this sport, I suppose, would be like, uh, again, in that sense, similar to baseball, where if it drizzles a little bit, you probably continue play. But if it rains, too much, you'd have to stop. Yes. The surface that they're playing on is mostly carpet based. And if it gets wet, it gets slippery. The outfield, the grass gets slippery and it becomes a safety issue for the players. Kalsi continues to Simran. Up and over, beautiful shot. That'll be four runs. To the boundary and gone. 4-4. Four, four. A little more of that would go a long way for United here. When you talk about a 2020 game, it's all about hitting fours and sixes and ent entertaining everybody who's come out to watch here. So that'll make United feel a lot better now that they got that boundary first ball. That's that looks like it's got a chance, but... What a brilliant piece of fielding there. So was that a catch? No. So the, but he kept the, it from the, the boundary. He kept it in the field of play. Man, I thought he might have caught it there and then... He did catch it safely, but he knew he was going to fall over and that would have cost his team six right. runs. Wow. He threw it into the field of play. That is just oh. brilliant stuff. <laughs> Holy mackerel. So it's... Not out, though? That is not out. That's just two runs. Tells you what this game means to some of the players in the park. S selling your body out for it.
Here it is again. Look at that. Right on that boundary line, he knew exactly where he was. Got both hands to it, nice and safe. Was going to fall over. That's just brilliant. But it's not an out. He didn't it they is don't not consider an out. that a caught out. Like that one. That is as safe as it gets. Hit straight to the man. Lucky at short mid wicket. Nothing special about that ball. That was just a bad, bad shot. Straight to the man. Could have hit it anywhere. <laughs> Good catch by Lucky. So one of, the, one of the ways to judge whether the catch was taken is not is the player has to be in control of the ball. And yeah. that's something that the umpire judges. As we see in that uh, replay there, the fielder was not in control of the ball. He was falling over. So it is not regarded as a catch. Rashid would be very disappointed with that. United played a game this morning and they didn't really have too much time to get their bodies together. I so, wonder if they're still thinking about that last game. Yeah, this Sastel Cup championship. Have they been playing here through the course of a couple days with several teams, or how many teams came? So in Regina, we we had the semifinal and finals in Regina this weekend. We had lots of rain Saturday, so we got completely rained out. Uh, we ended up playing the semifinals yesterday. United qualified, and so did the other team. Stallions, which we've right. seen their game earlier this morning. And then they played the Regina final this morning, which United won in a nail biter. Yeah. So we can't really fight with the rain gods. <laughs> but we wanted to make sure we get this done this weekend. It's already September and it's going to get colder. That one is into a gap. Okay, we'll have a play here, maybe. Two runs. Two runs. United's captain, Saadi Ahmad, on the crease now. Big responsibility on his shoulders. They've lost a few extra wickets. A couple of runs there. That's a swipe by Saadi. Missfield gives one more run. United has two of their best and most experienced batsmen on the wicket right now. So a lot would depend on how this partnership goes here. Both of these guys play on the Saskatchewan provincial team as well. So there's, you mentioned a young fellow out here, a 15 year old. Is there an age limit uh, to be able to play here? Uh, to play in the adult league, you have to be 14. 14. Mm -hmm. We have about seven or eight kids who are in that 14 to 16 range. Bether was one of them. Yep. Making a little mark there. So yes. just for a self-reference point? Mm -hmm. Different batsmen like to bat in different areas. So you can see there are three stumps, three wickets. And one batsman might want to bat on one edge of the wicket. The other might want to bat on the other edge of the wicket. It's just a comfort level thing. So most batsmen, when they come out to mark, uh, they will what's called taking guard. So they'll mark. You can see there's a couple of markings already. You can see one yeah. seems to be in front of the middle stump. The other one seems to be what's called the leg stump. So every batsman will come and take guard. Easy single there. Change in bowling again. Abbas Shah comes to bowl. How about the wicket keepers here? Will they play that position the entire match? 
every team has a designated wicket keeper. So that's what he does. He wicket keeps, and then most times he's a batsman. A wicket keeper typically does not bowl. Aman Sidhu is the keeper for Knight Riders. He's done well. Having some issues with the mud there, Abbas. Here he comes. And one run. It's a good turnout here today. Considering the weather. Yeah. It's only nine degrees right now, I believe. Well, and then you factor in the wind. It's a little early to be talking wind chill, <laughs> but it is Saskatchewan, so why not? Tells you how much the people love cricket here. It's a cold day, and they're out here in big numbers, yeah. supporting the team of their choice. Lots of neutrals out here, too. This, uh, these fans are tough, you know. I, I expected to see fans out here with sleeping bags wrapped <laughs> around them and scarves and toques. There's some toques and some winter wear, but these people are toughing it out. I think they're in denial, Heath. They just don't want winter <laughs> to come. That's all. <laughs> yeah. So another look at that last hit. Another right single through there. the middle. One run to long off. And that's the end of the over. Good start there for a bus. Oh, I beg your pardon. Still got one ball left. One more. Holding him up. There's a plane flying Let by. The, the noise. Go. Yep. It's distracting to the batsman when there's noise. Another single. Thinking about a second, but uh, not there. It's not a bad over at all by Bus. He's keeping it nice and straight. He's not giving any boundary balls to hit. Knight Riders is not going to be too concerned with these ones and twos that are coming. Fifty seven on three overs. A little misfield there by Lucky allows a single. That's fifty eight for the loss of three wickets united. Yeah, my bad, not three overs, of course. <laughs> Should have stopped. A lot of new that. words for me today. <laughs> <laughs> Message coming in from the dressing room. Well, the players get to stay warm. That seems a little unfair. <laughs> <laughs> so with this start, I'm thinking 160 is probably what United is targeting right now. They've lost a few extra wickets than they would have liked. Three wickets down. Ideally, they would have wanted to be one, maybe two. So they must be targeting 160, 170, which is a very competitive total on this ground. It is a final game. There's always pressure on the team trying to change runs in the second half. Another changing bowling for Knight Riders. Manjit Baya comes over to bowl. Now you're going to see a different type of bowler here. He's going to bowl left arm spin. So does that suggest that his velocity will be lower? Yep. And it's a very different delivery, like mm -hmm. you say. Much slower in the air. Puts a lot more revolutions on the ball. Relies more on the ball to grip and move. 
Another good looking shot there by Simran. Just one run, good fielding. When you play, would you rather be batting against this type of bowler or somebody that's a little, a little straighter? Ooh, chance of a catch there. Over the head of Jiv, and that'll and be four more runs. That was risky, but they got the reward there. The biggest strength that uh, that a spin bowler has, he, he, he tries to defeat the batsman in air and flight. He looped the ball a little higher, try to see if the batsman is going to do something, make the batsman reach out. A medium pace will try to beat him in the air. Another good ball there. Batsman was beaten this time. But the way cricket is, good ball, and the batsman still gets four runs for it. Well done. It's a big outside edge there. No clue where that ball was, and gets four runs for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a tough, tough sport sometimes with cricket. <laughs> Good looking shot. No run. I think the bowler got a more victory more than anything else on that last ball. Yeah. Definitely. Baya works. Uh, very quickly as well. There's not a lot of time wasted. Yeah, that was a quick over. That's what spinners do. They come in, they bowl quick. They don't give you too much time to think about what happened. So now he'll go and assume a position out in the field. Put the sweater back on. Making his way over to long off. He's one of the boundary riders that night riders have. Try to catch those fly balls if they come his way. A boss to continue. He bowled a good last over. Only went for four runs. Lower ball there. Good piece of fielding by Taj. Saved at least one run there. That might have even made the boundary, although there was another defender coming over that probably would have cut it off, but that's a good job. Change in field. Taj goes over to the boundary now. Good work. Really impressive watching that that ball was coming with a lot of speed and to pick it up that clean mm -hmm. with bare hands and get it right back in. That's there's a lot of skill out here on the field. The captain is setting an example for his boys to follow. Another good ball. Just one. There's not, not much you can do with that ball. That's a very good ball. Just on the body. That's a full toss. The bowler is struggling a little bit here. He bowled a good last over, and he's bowled three balls which haven't bounced. Much easier to hit? Yeah. yeah. A ball that doesn't bounce, you can, you can go cross bat on those, sort of like baseball. It's a lot harder to hit a ball that bounces. Oh, yeah.
bounced that one and got stroked for a four very quickly. Well, not bouncing, it looks like a good strategy now. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very, very good shot. Yeah. That Simran strong area. No fielder there, safe, four runs. He knew where the fielder was. He used the pace of the ball very, very well. Angled his bat just enough to get it out of the reach of the fielder. Big gap there on the boundary on the offside. Another misfield there by Knight Riders. And a short hit, but two runs. Good hustle. That's very intelligent cricket. There was no real risk taken in that over, and they still made about 10 runs. So scoring 10 runs in six balls is pretty good. We're at the halfway mark now, 10 overs done. United at 77 for the loss of three wickets. So halfway through, and only three lost. That means uh, they're probably going to get the full 20 in. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And just as a guide, uh, typically the teams tend to double their scores. So if they're 77 in 10 overs, uh, they're on track for the 160, like I mentioned earlier. You'd expect them to get a little more than that if they have some wickets in hands. So the next five overs, overs is crucial. Chance of a catch, and that's wicked. He held on. Falling to the ground, and uh, I think it popped out of his hands, but he got it. He kept his eyes on the ball there. Kind of feel for these uh, batsmen. They have to kind of endure the walk of shame after <laughs> <laughs> getting caught out. He'd be disappointed with that shot. Yeah. He tried that earlier last over as well. Just got away from the fielder. Did well to hang on. Did well to hang on to that one. Yeah. Eyes on the ball at all times. That's the key in good catching. If you got your eyes on the ball, even if it rebounds, you can still hang on. Yasser Imtiaz is the new batsman in. Saudi would be disappointed with that. He was the captain. The team was expecting more from him. So a new batsman in. And will flop ends here one more time. One G to continue. Good ball. Oh, didn't give him anything he could get a good hard swing on. That was full. That was right on the stumps. There's not much you can do with that ball. Just fight it off. Oof. New batsman comes in and is not having a good go of it here on the first couple. Still trying to get his eye in. Lovely balling by Manjeet. He's giving the batsman nothing to hit. This is definitely going to build pressure on Simran. He's been very calm and composed at the other end. Very, very good bowling again. again. Looking, uh, he's looking just a little bit defeated there right now. Come on, man. Give me something I can have a good swing on. Patience is key. He's eventually going to get one which is in his range that he can maximize. But until that time, he got to give the bowler his due. This is a good spell by Manjit. That was a quicker ball. A 
which? A quicker ball. Quicker. Yeah, so that was a faster ball that he bowled. There was less air and drift on it. Yeah. It was mostly just like a medium pace bowler. Caught him off guard. Mm -hmm. He did well to get it out. No run, though. That's a very good over. Just one run came of that over. Yeah. little bit of uh, support from the fan base there for a job well done. Mm -hmm. I beg your pardon. So the last over was actually a maiden over. And what that means is that the bowler bowled six balls and the batting team wasn't able to score any runs of those six balls. Now, why it's called the maiden over, I have no idea. <laughs> Cricket is uh, funny in the way uh, some of these terminologies is used. They're dating back to the 1800s, coming from colonial England. So we don't really have reasons for some of the words, but uh, we tend to go with them. Two more runs added to the total. Drifting down the leg side of Simran, clipped away for two runs. It's good work by uh, Amon, the keeper. I was going to ask you or, or mention earlier that the wicket keepers, that it's not a not too bad a job. You know, you don't have to run a lot, but <laughs> yes, you do. He had to go for a jaunt there, didn't he? You're doing 120 squats every game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hadn't taken that into account. <laughs> squats are not my forte. <laughs> Not Tip my job. <laughs> Wicked keeper? No. <laughs> you see, keepers are typically some of the fitter guys in the team. Uh -huh. That's up in the air, but safe. No fielder there. Chibi cuts it around. Chance of a run out. Well done. It's good smart batting. He knew where the fielders were. There were two fielders on the leg side. One about 20 yards away from him and one right on the boundary line. And he knew, he knew exactly where to hit it. If there's a thousand ways in which this differs from baseball, that would be one of them the batters or batsmen really do place the ball. A lot of finesse and a lot of touch players yeah. in cricket. You can score in 360 degrees and you only have nine guys that you have to work with. And you were mentioning earlier, that one's cut off, that the uh, the facility here, the field here at Douglas Park in Regina is a little sm on the small side. Normally, how, how big might it be relative to this? Another 10 meters, 15, 20 even? Um, we have a ground out at Grassic Park, and that one is a 75 yard from the center. And so that's one of the bigger bells. This is about 60, 62. Okay. Yeah. So another 15 or so yards. Yeah. Sometimes. So somewhere in the middle there is about ideal. Gotcha. Uh, but this is one of the smaller grounds, so therefore you do see some high scores down here. Good finish to the over by a bus. You're watching Max TV Local On Demand, folks. We're at Douglas Park in Regina for the Saskatchewan Cricket League's Sasktel Cup. Prakar Shravastava here with me today and uh, helping me learn more and more about this great sport, which is played by a lot of people <laughs> around the world. The second largest sport in terms of participation on the planet. Swung away just one run. Wasn't in full control of that ball, Yasser. But he didn't really score anything the last over, so he must be itching to get some runs under his belt. Straight to the man in the deep for one run. And that will be another single. The way Manjit is bowling, the batsman had to do something different. He had to reach out, he had to leave the wickets, try to get closer to the ball, try to make it into a hidden ball. Inside edge, another single.
Yeah, here in Saskatchewan, we have upwards of 500 people registered and playing in, in the league. Mostly Regina and Saskatoon are our big centers. Sure. Um, Yorkton is in there, Esteban. And that's curtains for Simran. Clean bowled him. First one we've seen today, I think. Mm hmm. There's a straight ball. Missed it completely. It was all that pressure that was building. Runs weren't coming. Right down the middle. It was a straight ball and not the best shot to play against a ball like that. Yeah, he backed off and had certainly had something in mind. Where do you think he was trying to go with that? He was trying to get it over point, the same region where he got a boundary a couple of hours ago. That is a strong area, but sometimes it also becomes your demise. He could, have, he could have batted another couple of overs before cutting loose. I think that wicket came at a very, very bad time for United when they were just, they just lost the wicket of Saudi. It was important to build a partnership. So just, again, you've used the word patience on a couple of occasions. Maybe needed a little more there. Mm -hmm. When a bowler is bowling well, it's a, it's a game of cat and mouse. Sometimes you just got to give the bowler respect and try to attack some of the other bowlers in the team. Armin Madhar is the new batsman in. He's one of the big hitters that they have in the team. He can hit the ball a long way if he gets going. And he came right past our perch here out of the uh, clubhouse, and he's a big, sturdy-looking man. That's the end, oh. Armin. Did, did, that, he, did his even body? Try. Well, that was uh, what's called a leg before wicket is right. what the umpire gave him. The umpire reckoned the ball was going to hit the wickets and the pad was in the way. Straight onto the pads. One ball. And he's done. <laughs> Looks very disappointed, oh, Armin. Oh, you be, yeah. Didn't trouble the scorers. It was full, it was straight, and the umpire reckoned it was going to hit this wickets. So a couple of quick wickets. 84, six wickets. And in comes a new batsman. Kuldeep Singh is a new man in. Most of the batsmen that United has are now back in the hut. Kuldeep is one of their premier bowlers. And he's going to try to do a job here for the team, try to get them to a respectable total. They've lost too many wickets for yeah. their liking. It's time to uh, get on a little bit of a roll here offensively. They need to build some momentum and get some energy back. Manjeet is in the middle of a really, really good spell. Just softed one in there, and the batsman protected the wicket. Is that the end of an over? That's another good That's another over by Manjeet. Yeah. yeah. And he's been sharp. So 84. Didn't they have 77 for? Uh, In 10 over, they were 77 yeah. for three. Wow. Yeah. So it's been a quick turnaround. Oof. Credit to Knight Riders. They've built the pressure. The batsmen have lost patience and got themselves out. Seven more overs to go. Double checking on uh, the scoring here, I think. Be 
official scorekeeper is right alongside us here. I think they're getting it straightened out now. Everybody's on the same page. A boss continues to Yasser. It's a good ball. So seven overs left. That's 42 legal deliveries that United has. They're 84, so they'll be hoping to at least get to the 120, 130 mark. 160 looks like a distant target now with all their batsmen back in the hut. That's a good shot. Chance of a catch. Nope. But body in front of it, knock it down and keep it to just a single. Yeah, you were talking about 160 or so a while back, and now you're saying 120 if you average it out. And do you think that would be enough? Well, they'd have to bowl really well. <laughs> yeah. they, they are a better bowling unit than they are a batting unit as United. Okay. So I'm sure they would have faith in their bowlers. But you can see how much of a difference these wickets make. If you have a couple of good batsmen, a batsman with their eye set and hitting the ball well, 160, 170 is a good target. Now with the bowlers batting here, they'd have to reassess. Ooh. Outside edge. One run to Kuldeep. Nitratus would be happy with this though. They know they have their batting all wrapped up. And it's now it's just a matter of making sure they finish the innings well and keep them to a reasonable score. The beauty of the sport and the way the league is played here, there's been games which have been won by teams who made only 100 runs. And there's been games where the teams have lost after scoring 220 runs, which happened yesterday in one of the semifinals. Wow. Between Stallions and uh, Regina Super Kings. That's the end of the over. Another good over. Just a couple of runs coming up that over. So as I was saying, 220 is what Regina Super Kings made yesterday, and Stallions, uh, who lost in the finals here this morning, chased it down. And that's a lot of runs. Yeah. Wow. You don't see that every day. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a good weekend of cricket. We've had some ties. We've had some tall scores being chased down. Well, and it's my first time with a chance to come and watch live cricket. And I got to see overtime. And what, what Canadian kid doesn't like uh, <laughs> something to go into extra time? <laughs> And the format T20 that we play here, it's only three hour long. So it's unlike some of the other cricket formats. One of them is a one day, which goes on for about seven hours. So it's basically a full day. And the other one is uh, called test match cricket, which uh, goes on for five days. That's unbelievable. What were they thinking when they came up with that idea? <laughs> Again, like I said, this comes from back in the 1800s. Yeah. Overthrow there, decided against taking the second run. Just one more run added to the total. Didn't look comfortable at all, Kuldeep. Another edge for one run. But they'll take it. They'll take it any way they come. No harm done there. Oh, now this is... Uh, oh, they're just, just a wide. good shot. Short and wide. Cut away for one run. I was about to remark how torturous it is of the gentleman that just walked by with a tray of hot coffees. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could hold a cup. I'm not sure I can feel my hands anymore. I can't complain. It's not that bad out here, folks. That one's all the way deep out into the field. Another one run. Starting to put some runs up here, but it is in small doses, isn't it? One of these batsmen will have to give it a whack and try to get those boundaries coming. 
Going for Excellent it. Excellent work there by Lucky. All in one action. Picked up the ball, threw it to the keeper. Batsman was safe. Knight Riders would not be complaining about these ones and twos at all. Yeah. Watch this. Beautiful work there. All in one action. Yeah, well done. That's the end of the over from Manjeet. And a good spell by him. Yeah, he's he, been fantastic today. He really has turned the course of this match in his three overs that he's bowled. United were looking good for a tall total. Now there's six wickets down. Five more overs to go from here. 30 legal deliveries. United is 90 for the loss of six wickets. Change in bowling for Knight Rider. Sumit Vij comes back to bowl. He's only bowled the one over today. Got the big wicket of Irfan in his third over of the day. the Yasser. Nothing there. He looks like a compact batsman, Yasser. He's good, good defensive batsman, looks like. Hasn't really played any big shots yet. Swing and a miss. Up high on him and he tried to punch it somewhere but missed it. It looks like he and his uh, mate are going to have a little discussion there. Little, little advice from his uh, partner. Guldeep is definitely the senior partner in this in this pair. That's better. Slower ball by the bowler. So we've seen earlier how a slow bowler bowls a faster ball. This was the other way where a faster bowler bowls a slower ball. Does a little whip of the wrist there to slow it right down. Try to beat the batsman. Another good ball there by Sumit. Long run up. Here he comes. Chance, but safe. Quick single there. One. Yeah. Another slower ball. He is inviting the batsman to try and hit the ball. He's bowling it slower, enticing the batsman to try to hit it out of the park and in the hope that they mistime it and one of the outfielders has a chance to catch it. See if he stays with that tactic. Quicker one this time. Yeah. That's got to hurt the batsman just <laughs> a little bit. You have to have some nerve, I think, to stand out there without a lot of the players wear the helmet with a face mask. Not all of them, though. Some of them don't wear any face or head protection. Gutsy. Yeah, batsman's going to take some treatment here. There's no protection for the stomach. <laughs> Unless you're me, I've got all kinds. That <laughs> <laughs> might sing a little more then. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty well padded in that area. <laughs> I, I've been around sports all my life as an observer. <laughs> Maybe I should have played a little more. <laughs> I could be out here today instead of standing up here getting cold. 
Either way, I'm having a great time here at Douglas Park in Regina. You're watching Max TV Local On Demand. It's the Sask Tell Cup, the championship Saskatoon's Knight Riders in red. And United are batting, wearing the blue. And we're getting down to the final few overs here for United at the bat. And then the Knight Riders will chase down that score, which uh, right now is at 92, I believe. That's a very, very good shot. Bisected the two fielders. Excellent work in the outfield by Jeff. This is good cricket. for the boundary, and he got on the other side of it and stopped it. And I was watching the ball instead of the batsman there. Did they score two on that? They made two runs. Should have been two, I would think. Yeah. yeah. That was some good work. Excellent. Good yeah. footwork there by Jeff. Not something that the coaches teach you, but uh, <laughs> mighty effective. <laughs> <laughs> Changing the field now, blocking off the area where he just made that one run, two runs. Let's see if he goes to a different part of the field. Oh, he's not going to go anywhere on that one. That's a short ball. Came up hot off the carpet. He missed. It's a good thing the umpire, the batsman is wearing a helmet. <laughs> Because that was targeted right at that helmet. That's a strategy some bowlers use just to scare the batsman a little bit. Get him into two minds. That yes, I do have that ball that can hit your face, but uh, it's all friendly banter in the end. <laughs> it's a much better ball. Hit, hit away to long off for one run. So... For the team out in the field, is there a name for every single position out there? There is, yes. That's a lot of <laughs> names for positions. There's no way I'm picking that all up today. <laughs> Beautiful shot there. Hit the square legs. Well, like I said, coaches don't teach you this footwork. And that's why. And that's exactly why. He probably could have kept that in if he had got his hands on it or his body in front of it. A little lazy there. Right at the line, rather than lay down on it. Tried oh. to stop it with his foot, and that'll be four. Four runs to yes here. That was hit the square leg. Seems to me it's been a while since we've seen a ball hit hard to the boundary. That could have been stopped. It's up in the air, chance of an out. And safely and nabbed by Kalsi. That's the end of Yasser. Lost his hat, but kept his focus. Another short ball. Popped up right up in the air and very, very well judged catch. They're never easy when they're hit up in the air. They're swirling, they're doing all kinds of stuff. That's a very good catch. So let's see who United brings out next. 89. Intias is a new man. Seven wickets down now, United. They haven't got to the 100 mark yet. Psychologically, that's a big number. Sitting on 99. Unofficially. <laughs> <laughs> so while the ball was in the air, the two batsmen sw swapped ends. So Kuldeep is on strike now instead of Intiaz, which is probably a good thing for United because he has been there for a while. Yeah! Appeal for card behind. Not out, says the umpire. End of the over. 99 for the loss of seven wickets. United. 
So what was the appeal? What was he suggesting there? So the bowler was asking the umpire if the batsman Nick edged the ball to the keeper. Oh, I see, because it was caught. It was so caught, it was, and he was just I, I inquiring. I think it was more of a hope than an appeal. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Did he touch that? <laughs> yeah. Nope. So there are a few things the fielding team has to always ask the umpire, which is called an appeal, one of them being the leg before wicket that we seen earlier. Yeah. Uh, the fielding team has to appeal to the umpire for that. Uh, runouts, which is, uh, you know, if, if the batsman is short of his ground, they have to ask the umpire. The umpire decides those. Uh, and but card, you must card appeal behinds. it. You have to appeal it to be so given So the umpires out. don't make a call unless exactly. on, on those plays, unless exactly. it's asked. Now, did that get a piece of the bat? So I'm going to miss again. I guess not, yeah. Some interest shown by some of the fielders, but... This is a good bowling by Night Raiders. It's been a cool day. There is some movement in the air on offer, and the Night Riders medium pacers have used it very well. Hit hard, straight down the ground. Keeps it to a single. Just the one. And that's 100 up for United. They want a few more here, but they want to make a match of it. <laughs> Little chat between the captain and the umpire. Not sure what that's about. Umpire's not happy with something there, it seems. Well, play will continue. Make some room trying to hit it over the offside where there's only one fielder in the outfield. The leg side is quite well protected. Couldn't con contact it though, didn't, didn't connect. I could have gone anywhere. Didn't really seem in control of that shot. Just hoping that it touches something and gets him a couple of runs, but. Very good ball by Sumit. So chance of a run out here. Oof. And they'll get that single that they wanted. On the overthrow. It's a good ball. Yeah, There's the no run ever there. Batsman nearest us took off and whoops. Another swing and a miss. Appeal by the keeper. Has got no company from his fielders. Not out, says the umpire. Well, we're a long distance away, so there's no way I don't I don't think we could ever tell from here, but there's been a two or three of them here. Sometimes it's difficult for the umpire as well with the wind and yeah. the umpire has to stand there and pay attention whether or not there was a deflection, if there was a noise. And if there was a noise, whether it was the bat or a glove or pads, because sure. you're only out if it hits the bat. Okay. It's up in the air. Somebody's going to come under it. That He's is a it. fantastic catch by Taj. That was dipping on him. It was high. That was one of the better catches that you see out here, Heath. Out in front of him, and he got it right at the grass. Dipping on him Ooh. inches above the wow. grass there. Another look. That was at miles in the air. Phenomenal. And then to be able to squeeze it as he fell to the ground elbows first. There's a well saying done. in cricket, Heath, that catches with matches, and uh, that's a prime example of why they say that. It lifts the entire team up when you take catches like that. Taj, their captain, leading by example. 
showing his boys how it's done. It's been a few misfields early on, but for the most part, the Knight Riders fielding has been top notch. Their catching has been good. So another Sidhu, batsman will come. Sidhu is a new man in. He's not known for his batting. He is the league's top wicket taker, though. So I'm sure he'll have a role to play when they come to ball. Wayward delivery, wide ball signal by the umpire. One run added to the total. United is eight wickets down now. Just two more outs needed for Knight Riders to wrap the innings up. Another get? one. That's another beautiful Did. catch. Wow. Very that little time to react on that one. Cat like reflexes to get the hands under that. Hit hard to his right and now down to just that one out. Beautiful. Nice play. Wow. Creeping. Ready. Beautiful catch. Then come off the middle. But that still took some catching. It's cold out there. The oh. ball was dipping on him. He had to reach out. And he just bowled an over too, so he must be tired from that. <laughs> He's a fast bowler, long run up. That's some good commitment and fitness shown by Vidj. Last man in for United. Navjot. Again, not known for his batting skills. But the bowlers will have to whip together a few extra runs when they come out to defend this later on. Drawing very near the end of the first innings. And the Saskatoon Knight Riders will not have to I, I don't think match a real high score. So it's going to come down to some of the bowling here in the second innings. Yeah, 102 is uh, not a very tall total, but it is the final game. There's always that pressure. The wind is picking up a little, and it's getting a little cooler. I'm not sure who that might benefit in the end. <laughs> Definitely not us. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. Hanging in there. Oh, that's actually a good looking shot. Forward defensive stroke. Right off the middle. United will be happy to see that shot. Right down the middle. Misfield. No harm done. It's going to work for a run. Hit one to square leg. Look out. Looking for a second, not there. That's nervous running more than anything else. Yeah. There never was two there. Got two overs left here. They would want to bat at least the next 12 balls and try to make 12 runs of those balls. Give them something to chase or something to defend rather. Full toss, completely missed.
Nice open stance for Kuldeep. And that's Whoa. the end of that. There it is. Finish in style. It was full, it was straight, it was targeting the base of the middle stump. And you don't see better bowls than those, Heath. So that is it for the first innings. 103. And another look for us at the way they finished it off here. The Saskatoon Knight Riders. Right on Bam. the basis stuff. You can't do much with those. That's very, very good bowling by Knight Riders. So 103. The number to chase for the Saskatoon Knight Riders. We're going to take a break. And we will be back shortly with the second innings. You're watching the Sastel Cup on Max TV, local on demand. Sastel Cup on Max TV, local on demand. A little bit of a look at what happened in that first innings here, Prakar. It was a, a fairly low scoring innings for United and some of the defense that we saw contributed to that and then of course the big finish there and now the Saskatoon Knight Riders come up and they're chasing 103 and that seems like it's not a as you say a tall score at all but no it's uh, it's gonna take some bowling by United they'll have to be on top of their mark fielding will have to be top-notch and it's a good start there by Saadi, their captain. Leading from the front. Rolling the first over. Knight Riders were a little slow to start uh, in the first half of the innings, but uh, they picked up speed later. Their fielding was top-notch. They took all their catches. The bowling improved, and uh, lucky one of the openers, Manjeet the other. That one's going to get through for, it looks like, a couple runs. Good looking shot there. Good cover drive. It was full, it was there. Another look. Oof, got a piece of it to slow it down, otherwise it might have rolled dangerously close to that boundary, although I don't know if it had enough to get there. What's it like all of a sudden now to be to face a left-handed versus, versus a right-handed bowler? Is it a lot different? For the uh, batsman? The angle is different. Definitely for the batsman. It is an adjustment that you have to make as a batter. That's an interesting shot. A couple more added to the total. Turned around and took it. You mentioned uh, in the first innings, it's a 360 degree game out here. and You can use it all. It's credit to the batsman there. He's seen there was no fielders patrolling that boundary. He used the pace that was on offer. And two runs added to the total. Inside edge this time. Get the batting team another couple of runs here. Putting them up in pairs here very early on. So did he actually turn his bat there just to catch a piece of the ball? Well, this last, it, last one seemed like he didn't really know what was happening. Right, okay, I'm at, that's what I'm asking. Yeah. Was that a, you know, he just... Got a piece of it and it worked out well, or did he direct it just as such? No, I think he was hoping for something else. Took the inside edge, clipped it, went past the wicket keeper for two more runs. Not gonna run. Saudi is one of the better swing bowlers we have here in the province. He uses the brand new ball very well gets it to shape and move both ways. Sometimes it'll leave the batsman, sometimes it'll come into the batsman. Bounce that one early to make it a, a high bowl at the bat, batsman, but uh, white ball right over the wicket keeper too. White ball given by the umpire. Ah. It was down the leg side, it was a uh, the height wasn't the problem, but it was down the left side. I see. 
Like I mentioned earlier, that's a good scare tactic some bowlers will use. Just get sneak one in there just to let the batsman know that I'm watching you and don't try to attack me too much. Shut that one down before he bowled it. There's some movement. The fielder was moving. Umpire called the dead ball there. The ball wasn't complete. There was some movement in the outfield that distracted the batsman. And the batsman had to pull out of his shot there. So do the batsman, or pardon me, the fielders all have to be standing relatively still? Or just not unusual movement, is that? Unusual movement. The, bats, the, the fielders can only walk in one direction. That's edgy, but that's four runs. Not in control of that shot. But it made it over the boundary. Four runs added to the total. You mentioned uh, for the second innings here, a brand new ball in play. They use, I'm told, usually one ball will last in, in this format for one innings. Absolutely, yep. And that's it. It's retired from from from, from game, game time. play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The teams typically use them for practices after, but. Uh, it's a good start for Knight Riders. 12 without loss. They haven't seemed to be in too much control of what's happening, but the runs are still coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the thing with a small target like 104, that you don't really need to hit big shots. They can, they can play themselves in, take their time, and play risk-free cricket and still get there. Of course, it helps when you get an edge go over to the boundary line. Yeah. Sometimes luck is on your side. <laughs> it seems that way here for Knight Riders. Yeah. Kuldeep, the new bowler. The right hand bowler bowls medium pace. So you got Sadi bowling left arm medium pace and Kuldeep right arm medium pace. So a little challenging for the batsman to adjust their sight. Into the body. Stolen single there. Snuck it in. Fielder was a little slow to get started, and the batsman took full advantage of that. Hesitated the batsman just for a second, and then he saw his partner coming full steam, and away he went. Knight Riders are the defending champions in this format. And it's looking good for them right now for another title in 2015. Sassel has come on board with us this year as the title sponsor for the Saskatchewan Cricket League 2020. Thus the Sasktel Cup. It's a pretty bold trophy. It's a big one. I would think you could uh, sip out of that for quite some time <laughs> if you filled it to the top. <laughs> That'll keep the team happy, the winning team anyway. <laughs> Here we go. Another, Another edge one. Wow. Another boundary. So that is another break going the Knight Riders way. And that what is that the third or fourth time? It'd be frustrating for United. They're giving it everything they have, and things just don't seem to be going their way. Well, that happens. <laughs> you just think it's not your day, huh? It's a long game. We've seen how Knight Riders came back into the game. United were 77 in 10 overs for the loss of three wickets, and they only added 36 more runs. So things change pretty quick in this format. That's a big shot all the way. Six runs. Straight down the ground by Manjeet. Nice open stance for Manjeet. He's expecting the ball to be there so he can swing through the line what a real and good try screen. to maximize it. 
he is a hitter for Knight Riders. And this is what they expect him to do. This is how he plays. He had a good spell with the ball earlier today. So he'd want to carry that on and score a few runs for his team as well. That'll work too. That is into no man's land over there. Not to the boundary, but a couple runs. Another 12 runs have already come in this overs. So they're quarter of the way there, Knight Riders already. United need a wicket, and they need it very quickly. On the plus side, for all involved, it's getting a little milder out here now, it seems. At least the cloud is thinning. They'll just get a single on that one. Good work in the field. Attacked the ball, kept it to a single. Quick throw there, but it's a little offline, and the single will be scored on that one as well. Twenty-seven without a wicket after two overs, but a fantastic start for Knight Riders. Just what they wanted. Get a head start on the runs. United will be looking for that elusive wicket here anytime to bring them back into the game. Or it could run away from them very quickly. Yeah. So the Knight Riders will be playing in a from a pretty calm position right now, then I would think. Very relaxed out there. It doesn't seem like there's much pressure on them at all. That's Got edged, it. and it's taken. Yep. Just what the United needed. The captain taking it upon himself to get that breakthrough. Little cutter. Did not read that. Very good catch by the keeper. Yeah. He was going away from him. It came from a blind spot, too. It was on the other side of the batsman. I don't know how he could see it until it was almost upon him, and yet... Got the hands out. Just what United needed. Yeah. Get some momentum going here. The Knight Riders captain walks into the field of play, Taj Singh. Took a great catch in the outfield earlier today. Right off the turf. And landed on, on his weight onto his elbows and yet held on to the ball. This wicket here is going to be key. Taj is a very experienced cricketer, has been around the blocks, and he's also the captain, along with Manjeet, who is a big hitter. Another wicket here quickly would really put United on track and set Knight Riders on the back foot. So the captain's going head to head here. Good ball there by Saadi. Just leaving the batsman. It's a swing I was talking about. That's what beat the batsman. As a bowling captain, Saadi has plenty on his plate. He's got to worry about which batsman is batting, where to keep his fielders, and also worry about what ball to ball. 
In the air, Ooh. just clears the fielder for four. Boy, if he had been playing a foot farther back, he would have had a chance at that. Got a hand to it. Mm. But he couldn't go any further back. There's right. the inner circle that he has to stay within. In the first six overs of a 2020 game, he can only have two men outside the circle. Ah, I see. United right now has everybody inside the circle. Another short ball signaled a wide by the umpire. A little too high. So if it is a wide ball, even if it is swung at, it's still. As long as wide. there's no contact made, yep. it's one run added to the team's total. And that's a slower ball. Saudi's bringing out all his tricks. Mixing it up. So you mentioned, was it during the first 10 overs, the fielders, only two can be? For positioned? six. Oh, for six. Okay. For six, yeah. And after that? After that, you're allowed a maximum of five outside. Gotcha. Quick single there. Beautiful work. And with that, Taj is off the mark with a single. 33, 104, the target that would give the Knight Riders the Sastel Cup. It's another outside edge. Boy, they are just <laughs> dropping him in there. Excellent work in the field. Chance of a run out. Safe. Safe he is. This has really got to frustrate the fielding side. They're getting those runs. They're not getting them cleanly. That's a shot that you can't really play on no. cue. But good work there by Armin and good backing up by Rashid. Keep it to two runs. Looks like Saudi is turning to a slow bowler now. Change up the pace a little bit. Giving the ball to Yasser. Kuldeep only had that one over. They're taking their time making sure they're set their fields properly. Got two men on the outfield. Everybody else inside the circle. Three men on the leg side and six men on the off side. Looks like they're set. Got them where they want them. Good batting. Nudged away for one run. Looking for two. Not there. No. <laughs> Thought about it. That's what Taj is going to do. He's going to come in, look for those ones and twos, and keep moving along. And Manjit is going to try and attack the bowlers and get those big boundaries and sixes in. That's a strategy that's been successful for Knight Riders that has brought them here. Moving some bodies around a little bit. And here we go. That's going to be to the boundary. Way down, final yep. leg, another four runs. A sweep shot there by Manjit. A risky shot. It was right on the stumps. Playing with uh, all kinds of confidence here, <laughs> the Knight Riders. A 
swing and a miss. That's good bowling by Yasser. It's up in the air. Chance. And taken. Got it. That is a wonderful catch. Right at that boundary, too. By Beather. Young 15-year-old pulling his whole team up with that fabulous catch. Up in the air a long time. A little bit of a run there for him. Safe as a house. Yep. Took a minute to enjoy that catch, did Beather. And that's a big wicket. Because Manjeet can make those runs in a jiffy. Just what the doctor ordered for United. And I think they're back in the game with that wicket. He was also hitting into the wind. And we've been talking about the wind all day. When you hit it that far up in the air, it doesn't really travel when you hit it against the wind, so it tends to just hold itself. Hangs up and hangs up, yeah. That was hit miles in the air. And it was very, very well judged. So bowling move worked for Saudi, bringing in Yasir for Kuldeep and got him a wicket right away. Sumit Vij is the next man in. Good ball there again. Beaten. Yeah, he's really given the Knight Riders something to think about. It's been difficult. Another good ball. That's a good over. Just that one boundary. But he got the wicket right away, so the bowler would be happy with that. United will need more of that. On Max TV Local On Demand, this is the Saskatel Cup. It's the Saskatchewan Cricket League 2020 Championship game, Douglas Park in Regina. It's cool, it's windy, but they're playing. They're getting the Sastel Cup in. Over the last couple days, there has been some crazy weather in Regina, but we're going to have a champion here in the next short while. 64 is what remains on the Knight Riders' target. United is going to be looking for one more wicket here somewhere. Now your bowlers only get a maximum of four overs to bowl. So Saudi is bowling well. He's already bowled two overs. He's got two more left. So he'd want to get at least another wicket in his belt before he can't bowl anymore. Four. Good work in the field. Yep. You can see with that wicket, the noise level has gone up in the, inf in the field. Yep. Little energy. Mm-hmm. Players are more Woke attacking. Up. United doing a good job now. That's three dart balls. The pressure is building on Knight Riders. Going to want to get that single or boundary somewhere here, the silver. Keep the scoreboard moving. There it is. I'm gonna go for a second one on this? No. Nope. Just the one. The baller was not happy with that fielding performance. Showed his anguish. He's hoping to keep the new batsman on strike. Probably could have been kept in front of the fielder. 
Should have stopped that. Yeah. Another good ball there by Saudi. A little slower cutter. That's what got him the wicket. Last over. Umpires just asking the players to move from the line of sight of the batsman. It is distracting when there's movement happening behind the bowler. You want that area to be clear and still. Short that ball. One. And that's out of here. It is. Six runs. Picked up very early by Taj. Six signal by the umpire. Not a, not a high shot, more of a liner, but got to the boundary in the air. That was a safe shot. There was no boundary rider. So even if he mistimed it, it was still going for four. He picked the spots. Just outside the line. Sun's beginning to come out here for the first time in the last three days. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's it. Three days. Nothing. Well, there's a small gap in the clouds. I think we're going to get <laughs> Some quasi sun here for about two minutes. <laughs> if you want to warm up any part of your body, turn it to that direction. <laughs> you might get might get a half a degree off it. Yes, sir. Continues to summit. Edged. Did he Another get a piece? single? Yeah. It's been the story of Knight Riders sure inning so far. Boy. Made hay with those today. Don't matter how they come. As long as the scoreboard keeps moving along and not a big total that they're defending, so. It's not going to get him anything. Really good balling by Yasser. Got it. Caught behind there. That's a huge wicket. Result of some very good bowling by Yasir. He's playing forward on that ball. Fine outside edge. And a beautiful catch by their keeper, Simran. Oh. Those are never easy to catch. They either stick or they don't. And he was up there so tight. Sim did well to hang on to that one. Him in there, right up tight there and ready. Playing forward, fine edge, low, low catch. And wasn't he excited about that? He did stand his ground and did not walk before the umpire gave him out, which they are allowed to do. Three wickets down now for Knight Riders. United in the hunt. And Jeff Brage is the new man in. Another hitter that Knight Riders has. Can hit the long ball. Some big, strong batsman in that lineup. Lots of experienced Jeff. He's been playing cricket in Saskatchewan for well over 20 years. I played cricket with him back as a teenager. <laughs> When he was a teenager? No, when I was a teenager. <laughs> no, I knew. I knew. <laughs> what about yourself, uh, Prakar? Who are you playing with? Well, I play with the Cavaliers Club here in uh, Regina. Mm -hmm. We just lost yesterday. It's off the mark there with an easy single, drifting onto the pads of the batsman. <laughs> Jim was going for two. So we played we played Lions or United here yesterday, the team that you see in the final, and we lost to them in the semifinal, so a little upsetting. <laughs> but there's always next year. Sure. Good ball. Solidly defended. No one.
And I've been playing cricket here in Saskatchewan for about 13 years now. Started playing as a teenager. Play and a miss. Keeping the batsman guessing, that's the name of the game for spinners. Played some cricket in Alberta while I was there. Played some cricket in Manitoba. But now, mostly cricket here in Regina. Been around. Mm -hmm. And I've been involved with uh, cricket administration here in Saskatchewan for over five years. So I'm currently the vice president with the Saskatchewan Cricket Association. Good for you. Uh, I was secretary for them for the last three years. So I've been around the block and uh, did my part. <laughs> yeah. If uh, somebody wanted to get involved with this sport, how easy is it to do that in in uh, either of the cities or, or in some smaller communities? Well, the best way is to contact us through our website. We have a contact yeah. us link there. Um, you just get a hold of us, letting us know where you are, if you are in Regina, Saskatoon, or nearby, and and we'll provide you all the information that, that you need to sign up for the team. Sure. There's about 25 teams in the province right now, so there's lots to pick from. Every team offers something different. Some play for leisure, some play quite competitive, so depending yeah. upon what you want to do. Got it. Excellent catch there. Hit hard. Just what they needed. All of a sudden, in the last little while here, United getting some uh, life in their game. Siddo is one of the better fielders they have in their outfit. Change in bowling again. Worked. Hit straight to the man. Didn't have to move an inch. Fourth wicket down for Knight Riders. You can see the commitment level. A long walk back to his teammates for Jiv. <laughs> yeah. Well, I would have thought that 104 target was was not going to be much of a challenge for the Knight Riders, but United is challenging them nicely here. They're halfway there, but they've also lost half their team. United is the home team, getting lots of support by the Regina local players. We haven't seen anybody here go on a bit of a roll, really. United in that semifinal to get here came out in uh, extra overtime and, and pounded the ball. <laughs> Much better, much different game than the last one. Sure is different, yeah. That was a high scoring game. Sixes and fours galore. Yeah. This one, it's been more of a scrap for both teams, actually. Is this just the bowlers are more on their mark, or is it a little bit, you know, is it typical of a championship game where everything is played a little safer? I, 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 that's typically how most championship games have been. You don't see people just go out there and start hitting sixes and fours. You know, the, the pressure, the moment probably gets to the team, to the players. They know it's a big game. They work towards this all season. They started their season in first week of May, and it's middle of September now. Well, early September, but it's been a long season it nonetheless. It feels like it's mid-October today. <laughs> Another easy single. Fifty on the board now. Another fifty-four runs needed to take the Sassel Cup home for either one of these teams. Knight Riders need to make fifty-five, and United need to get the remaining six wickets. Good ball there by Irfan. Full, fast, straight. Not much you can do with those. A 
United has been undefeated in 2015 in the T20 league. That's some feat in itself. Excellent piece of work there by Sidhu. It's quick to get to the ball, quick to release it, but a single nonetheless. Made it close. Short, wide. Excellent coverage. Th throw in right on top of the wickets. That's good fielding. That's a strategy that's worked for Irfan. Ball full, ball straight, ball at the stumps, and if the batsman misses, you're in business. And it's worked for him. It has. That was a good over. Got a wicket. Bhaiya, Manjeet Bhaiya gave them a good start there. Hit a couple of big blows before he was caught very well by Bader in the deep. Taj was looking good. Before uh... getting the outside edge. Unlucky, you could say. Yeah. But it's also a result of some good bowling. Intiaz has got two wickets already. And the team is looking up to him to get them one more. Yeah, the way the Knight Riders started the second innings, it looked like they were going to make fast work of things. But United has really come on and bowled fantastic. We're not seeing a lot of good hard swings at that ball. Well, the fact that they got such a brilliant start by Manjeet really has eased their cause out. They don't need to do anything silly. They just have to bat normally, look for those ones and twos. Well, that'll definitely help their cause. Oh, boy, that was right at the line. <laughs> Umpire <laughs> signals a boundary. Four more runs added to the total. And the Knight Riders bench were working hard on uh, selling that for a six, but so hard to know. So hard to know. That was a tight one. They gave him four, though, did they? They did, yes. Cricket is a gentleman's sport, and most often than not, the umpires will believe the fielding and the batting side, yeah. in which, in this case, once the fielder signaled four, that's what the umpire would go with. So that boundary will help ease the pressure a little bit. Aggressive field set by Saadi for... Well, misfield, chance of a double. Easily made, done in the end. When you said an aggressive fielding set you, they're, that they're in tight like that or in yeah close? you got you got lots of guys saving the ones and the twos yeah this was well played it was hit in between the three fielders there on the offside so they don't want to give them too many easy runs the strategy here set by united is that if they want to make those runs they'll have to try and make some big shots and when you do that, there's always the risk of getting out. So again, That's chance working. of a run out. Oh. Not out, said the umpire. Mm. That's a doubt that sets in. That was very aggressive fielding. I looked close. Yeah. I looked very close. Umpire is on top of his game today. <laughs> and the United players, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> yep, that bat got in there before the ball got to the wicket. <laughs> Haven't had a lot of close calls today, but there's been some. So it comes in. 
Oh, <laughs> I wonder if the umpire just missed that one, uh, Heath. <laughs> that was too close to call with the naked yeah. eye, though. We have technology, right. we have these replays. Umpire's going to be on the ball at all times. Well, and before we got going today, just in our casual conversation here at Douglas Park, some of the big matches on the big stages worldwide have all manner of technology to help out the umpires, including a little bit of infrared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, can, they can tell if a ball touched a batsman or a bat by the, the heat given off by the friction of the ball making contact. All kinds of stuff. High tech. Mm -hmm. Costs a lot of dollars. Yeah, you don't have that here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the umpire, Kuro Mosen, he uh, plays on the Cavalier Club with us. So I'll be passing on this message to him. <laughs> I'm sure he'd like to know. The umpires really do pride themselves in what they do and their conduct on the field. They're a big part of this game. Yeah. And all this technology is fairly new to cricket. I mean, 20 years ago, the umpire was the final say. Yeah. That's a no ball ball by the bowler, overstepping on the front line. And when a bowler does that, the batsman get a free hit the next ball. So he can hit it anywhere he wants and he cannot be out this ball. He cannot be caught, he cannot be bowled. This is basically a free slog at this delivery because the last one was an illegal ball. And that's a very good ball to follow up for only a single. Some shadows on the park now. Change in field, man coming out from slips into that single saving position. No, change in, change in plans, he's going to the outfield. Up in the air, chance of an out. And a single instead. Dropped in a hole. Good running there by Knight Riders. It's up in the air for a while, just out of the reach of the fielder. go for a single as well just out of reach to the defender one of those days yeah another day that he could have stopped that I haven't seen too much of Sumit Vij. He's a new player, just started playing in this league this year in Saskatoon. He looks like a pretty decent bat. He's got right technique. He's getting nice and forward on his shots. That's a sign of a good batsman. And he's played some pretty good shots as well. Aman is the other batsman. He's their keeper. He did his role with the when he was keeping and now he has to come out and do his job with the bat as well. On, 
So the United club now moving some bodies around here a little bit. Captain is directing some traffic. It's a change in bowling as well. Amrinder Sidhu comes over the ball. Well, that's who it is, yeah. He is the league's leading wicket taker. He's got 24 wickets here in this league up to now. So he has got those wickets for United, and they'd be hoping he gets a few more today. Oof. Wide ball signal by the umpire. He has a very good quicker ball as well. Ball is the slow, loopy one, the quicker one. He gets good dip on the ball, so it's always difficult for the batsman to judge. You think it's coming to you, and then it just falls. That's a huge shot. Might even go all the way. Yep. Six. It was short. He lined himself up on that one. Spun around. And got his entire body behind that shot. Full rewards. Knight Riders creeping towards the target of 104. A little unsurety on what's happening. The umpires communicating with each other. Not out is the call. A swing at it, but the very similar to the Taj dismissal here. Full. It's tough to tell from here. Well, the reaction from the uh, wicket keeper was that there was contact, but I guess that's what—that's how you got to play the game. Maybe that's he thought. Definitely try to influence the umpire sure. sometimes. <laughs> you got to sell that call. <laughs> yeah. Now we're having a hard time telling from here, so in real time, yeah. unless the umpire seen an obvious deflection or a loud noise, it'd be very difficult for him to judge. And when in doubt, the benefit of doubt always goes towards the batsman. That's something that's accepted in cricket. There's a quicker one I was talking about earlier. Good comeback there by Sidhu after getting hit for six, second ball. There was a chance of a cut behind and a few dot balls, so. 68. 36 needed to get them to that 104 target. The Knight Riders won't really have any issue with the number of balls that they have remaining. If they bat out the 60 balls that they have left, they will get to that target fairly easily. So the challenge for United here is to keep getting those wickets. Yasser's got a couple wickets. Sadi's got one. Irfan has got, got a couple wickets. Change in bowling again. Rashid comes out to ball. He's going to ball right arm spin. to bitch. Good ball to start with, right on the money, no run.
two in a row. Not giving up anything. It's good smart batting by Knight Riders now. They realize the target is near. They don't have to do anything silly, just bat normally for the next 60 balls that they have. Hit straight to the fielder. Edged. And this could and go to the bottom roll, for yeah. four. Not quite, but it'll be a double. Good, hard swing at that one and just edged it, as you said. And that's like, that, that's a, a third of the points they've scored today, <laughs> it seemed to be, on that sort of just nicking it. If you got to swing, you got to swing hard. Sure. It gets out of the reach of the keeper and any fielders nearby. Take the gap in the field there, looking for two. Easily done Not in the end. end. Wicket keeper's a little upset. There was a bit of hesitation, the two fielders. It was right between the two of them, and I think their first reaction was to look at the other fella. And that probably cost one of the two runs. It's been a good over so far. Straight to the fielder again. So Bowler has set his field and he's consistently bowling the ball at the same place. And the batsman is hitting to the same fielder. So that's good batting, good bowling, and good fielding all around there. See there. It's been a busy fielder, Sidhu, today in that yep. area. Point. Sweet hands. Plays it clean and gets it in in a hurry every time. Took a good catch there earlier. Well, it seems like we are going to play out the rest of this second innings with the sunlight. 72 of that 104 target has been scored by Saskatoon Knight Riders. They are facing United out of Regina for the Sastel Cup. You're watching Max TV Local On Demand. I'm Heath Mulligan along with Prakar Srivastava and we are at Douglas Park in Regina. And more live action. Another edge there. What's new? Oh, look out, look out. It could go. Good Kept it recovery. In. Another edge, another two runs, Heath, and uh, the luck just continues to go with the Knight Riders. Big edge, just out of reach of the keeper. A little clumsy work there by the outfielder. Just a yard from the line, and he cool snagged deep. it, but a pair of runs. deep into his second over of the day. He only bowled one over first up this morning. Now there are 30 runs to win. Not coming quickly, but you say that that's a lot to do with the Knight Riders being smart mm -hmm. with the bats. They got lots of time. There's no real rush to get to those runs. You know, a win is a win whether you make those runs in the 15th over or the 20th over. The sun is out. The light is still good. So there's no rush. The bowling has been good. They've been on the money. Haven't given away too many bad balls for the Knight Riders batsman to hit. 
And Knight Riders have been in this position before. They, they are defending champions. They got here last year by playing smart cricket. They've only lost two games this entire season in Saskatoon. That's going to be worth a couple or so more. Running away quickly. Take two on it. So United undefeated and the right Knight Riders have just lost a couple times. So it, I guess you could say that we do have the top two teams here and, and you would have expected these two to battle in this championship. Absolutely. Knight Riders might have a little bit more final awareness than United, considering this is their second time in the final, and this is the first time United is in the final. It's a good over there. Seventy-six for the loss of four wickets. Twelve overs done. Eight more to go. And only 28 between them and the Sastel Cup. United were 77 in 10 overs when they were batting. And just gives you a sense of how quickly a game can change. And they were in a similar situation with five wickets down. And Irfan comes back to bowl. Good first bowl. A lot of the players on that Knight Riders team bench have come up off the bleachers and are standing near the edge of the field now. You can uh, sense that the game is getting in its late stages, both teams actually. Players uh, and some of the spectators are standing now near the edge of this field and uh, taking in the last of the second innings. It's another no ball there, ball by Irfan. This is not helping United. That's another free hit. A batsman can hit the ball without the fear of getting out on this ball. So he cannot be caught. He cannot be bowled. So is Only the strategy hit. generally then just swing for the, the moon? Yeah, try and get that six if you can. You know you can't be out. That's up in the air. He's taken the catch, but he's brought it in. That's a no ball, or the last one was a no ball, so this is the free hit. Good play, though. It only kept him to a single. Mm -hmm. When the batsman has no fear of getting out, they tend to connect more, than, more often than not. Sure. Pressure's off. That's an oh. appeal. This umpire says it was going down the stump line, going down the leg side there. Looked like it, from our vantage point at least, like it would not have hit the wicket. Uh, it's tough to say from here. Yeah, well. Maybe a straighter angle. Yeah. Something coming straight down <laughs> the wicket. I just thought when have. I saw it live, but then when you look at it there, the, uh, hard to know. Well, the best place to judge that is from right behind the wicket. Sure. Umpire's not happy about something there. Lucky Singh. Captain Saadi and the umpire in a heated discussion about something. Perhaps it had to do with the players not happy with the umpire's yeah, decision. Sure. There was a, a lot of hands raised there after the call. But he does have the best perspective of it. 
another plate and a miss. It's good spellbinder fun. Again, some uh, people in front of the stump. This is a popular place for people to hang out. Got the clubhouse here, the cricket cages. People like to come out, hang out, socialize, chat, barbecue sometimes. It's a nice little park. I would say, by the way, the trees are planted here. They almost <laughs> put the trees in knowing that they were going to be playing cricket here. Surrounded the park, this area, very nicely. I don't know what the exact date is, but I know this ground has been around <laughs> since the mid 80s. Yeah. So it could be older or it could be a little newer, but. Uh, and it's been used for cricket ever since? It's been oh. exclusively used for cricket. Yeah. Outside edge, no run. Seventy-eight. Seventy-eight it is. For the loss of four wickets. Inching towards the Sastel Cup. Our Knight Riders. Another 26 needed. Lots of time still left in the game. 42 balls they have. That's a seven overs. They only need to make 26. It seems so simple but we'll play it out. United will have something to say. They've bowled well, United. They've kept the pressure on. They know Knight Riders are in just as much pressure as they are. It's a big game, the final, the provincial final. The Saskatchewan teams Get outside of the province a lot. You mentioned there are some provincial team players. Excellent shot four. there. <laughs> a little bit of width offered by Kuldeep, and he smoked that over the offside for four runs. 22 needed now. Well done. I assume there's a, a national championship or... or are, are there nationals in different formats or different types of the game as well? The T20, uh, uh, typically all the Canadian oh, oh. chance there and uh, dropped. Was that it? Was that the chance that United was looking for? Straight into the hands of Irfan and in and out. He's, <laughs> I had it. It was right there. Oh, it's quite. fallen on him. That's the type of catches that turn games, though. Yeah, there is a Saskatchewan provincial team that travels to Alberta. They were in BC this year for a Western T20 championship and uh, another couple of runs here for Knight Riders. Chipping away to quickly all of a sudden. The Saskatchewan team was runners-up in the Western Championship. Good. Lost to BC in the final. The team that they beat in the league stages to get to the final. <laughs> it's a good showing. I mean, you're just thinking the, in the, the size of the provinces. You know, you kind of always mm -hmm. assume that BC is going to have an advantage over Saskatchewan. Just sheer numbers. Very good running there. The fielder was a little deep after the last shot. Pushed him back and they took full advantage of the change in field. Smart batting. But yeah, BC is one of the superpowers when it comes to cricket in the Western Canada. Uh, followed closely by Alberta. And then we got the Manitoba and the Saskatchewan are kind of third and fourth. Out east, it's uh, mostly Ontario is the big center. Lots of cricket in Ontario, lots of teams, stadiums. A 
Nothing off that one, but down to now, I believe it is just 18 to get that target. And the uh, Knight Riders players. That could be out of here. Boundary. Look at that. Just clear. Yep, six signal by the umpire. And this could get over in a jiffy here. It was full, it was in the arc, he went for it, hitting into the wind. The fielder thought he was in with a chance, but just agonizingly yes. close. And so there you see, that, like you said, the, the gentlemanly uh, aspect of this sport, he said, yeah, that's, that's six. Another 13 needed now for Knight Riders to win back-to-back -back championships in Saskatchewan. Beg your pardon, 12 needed. Just 12, yeah. You gotta be good at math with this, uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you wanna be right on top of things at this sport. Definitely lots happening. And big numbers. The semi-final game, or the, uh, I guess it was the Regina final that we saw prior to this championship game was a 185 to 185 tie. <laughs> and this has been a scrap to the finish line. Knight Riders standing at the boundary, getting ready in anticipation of the next 12 runs. Airfon continues. And that's another wicket. They're not going away quietly. Clean bold, full straight. He's done this all day. And finally gets reward. Top of the middle stump there. Is there another twist in this Sastel <laughs> Cup 2015? Abbas Shah is the next batter in. One of their many all-rounders that Knight Riders has in their team. Balled well earlier today and now he's got a job to do with the bat. Summit Vig is still batting quite smartly there. He's on 25 and and Aman came in, hit a few blows and got them closer to the finish line. Twelve needed off 35 balls now. We're that close. United will have to uh, make a miracle here. They can get a couple of quick back-to-back -back wickets. Yep. That'll put the pressure right back on the Knight Riders. It'll have some self-doubt will creep in and, and you never know. <laughs> then you start squeezing it a little too tight. And again, United setting their fielders. A little traffic being directed here. They want their fielders to be in the exact spot where they think the batsman is going to hit. Twelve needed of 35 balls. Irfan to ball to Abbas Shah. Appeal for a leg before wicket. Not out, says the umpire. Take a look at. See if we can. Heard the back pad there. 
Definitely something there. But the umpire wasn't convinced. And not out as the final verdict. Change in field for Summit. Bitch. So I'm batting on 25. Eleven needed now. It's been a long day for United. It's the second game of the day. Do they have enough left in the tank to finish this off? Hard swing there, but it's chopped right down into the pitch. Chance of a run out oh, there. Boy. And in the rush to <laughs> make the play, it wasn't fielded cleanly. That was a little uh, aggressive by Summit there. There it was sure no was. single there. No. Went straight to the man. Yeah, and he just took a peek up because he knew he had a chance. And an eye off the ball for just that split second, I think, cost him a chance to get a good grip. To the man again, this time at the non striker's end, chance of a run out, but no harm done. New batsman up boss will be a little nervous, just going in, 12 needed. Just wide of the fielder, one more run. Down to 10 now, needed. You'd have to say advantage uh, Knight Riders at this time. I would think so. Another five overs, 30 balls left in the play, 10 runs needed. Change in bowling again, Yasser comes on to ball, right arm spin. Looks like they've got everybody pretty much where they want them for this on the United team. What is the call coming in here from the sidelines now? Not sure. Seems like they're... Uh, the bowler is finished, is what the Knight Riders are suggesting. Seems like they're inquiring about how many uh, overs the bowler has already bowled. Uh, a bowler can only bowl a maximum of four overs. And he has bowled four according to the one of the officials on the sideline, but we'll see. They thought he had bowled four, but you're saying he has not yet. Uh, no, and the umpire typically keeps track of this stuff, and I think the umpire signaled to the scorer that... Um, there might have been a mistake in, in who that bowler was, but uh, each bowler is allowed a maximum of four overs in a 2020 game, and Yasser ring to his fourth now. Right through the middle. Looking for two. Dropped his bat, Abbas, on his way to the crease. Nine needed now. Little casual there by the bowler. Kidder tried made an effort to stop it.
Looks like Knight Riders want to do these in ones and twos. <laughs> Nothing there. This ball did. It's ball well, yes, here today. Uh -oh. Appeal for a stumping. That's when the batsman is out of his ground while making his shot, and the keeper gets to the stumps, but uh, not outset the umpire at square leg. Let's take a look. No, nope. he kept his toe in. He did. There was a fraction of a second where he raised his foot, but uh, he was safe in the end. So if his foot was in the air at the time, that would be out. Yeah. Kept it on the ground. Hung on by his toe and <laughs> lives to see another bowl. They're gonna run on that. Down to eight now. Eight more, a call from the Knight Riders bench. That's up in the That's air, do some chance, damage. no. Just one, looking for two, not there. Good work by, by there in the outfield. Yeah. Keeps it to a single, seven more needed for Knight Riders. over mid-wicket. Little stumble there, but uh, no chance of a second. He was quick to the ball. Another seven needed now. And United need five wickets. Tall order. <laughs> have you seen it happen? <laughs> I, I have actually seen stranger things happen yeah? in cricket. <laughs> yeah. uh, the game's never done till it's actually done, but uh, the way Knight Riders are batting, it doesn't look like they're going to give away their wickets that easily, yeah. so. Definitely a tall order from here for United. Deep. He uh, must be in his last over now. He's going to have to make it a good one. And here we go. Edged. Good work there. Oh, that saved. <laughs> Definitely Probably saved. three. Absolutely. United are not giving up. They're going to make Knight Riders strive for every single run. That's very good work. That would have been a definite boundary if he'd missed. Yeah. yeah. Six needed now. Got it in quick. Another quick single. Is smart, risk-free cricket. It's been a very good chase by Knight Riders. They've they've played smart. They came in, they attacked right from the first ball, and they got to about 40 runs very quickly. Put United on the defensive, and since then it's been uh, smart batting, ones and twos, and yeah, methodical. The odd boundary. It's up in the air. Chance. It'll One drop. More. Just a single again, but now down to four, you say. Am I on the right score with you? <laughs> <laughs> One hit away here. And that could be it, or it could be out. It's and out. That is out. Excellent catch by Irfan. Four needed. And another twist here. Another wicket. Just popped it up a little too high. 
Well United played. have kept at it all day. They've never let themselves get out of the game, really. And that's the sixth wicket down for Knight Riders. Four needed, four runs needed for Knight Riders to clinch the championship. And four wickets for United. Uh, but that might be too little, too late. Kalsi is a new man and he can bat. Chance of a run out. Safe. Bringing them down. But one at a time here. The Knight Riders in the late stages of the Sastel Cup. Just three more scores to take home the trophy. You're watching Max TV, local on demand. We're at Douglas Park in Regina, and it's the Saskatchewan Cricket League 2020 Championship. Prakar Shavasta and Heath Mulligan here with you, and my inaugural cricket game, and it's been a pleasure. Three more to get to the target and take home the championship. Aggressive intent there shown by Kuldeep. A dot ball. Just a matter of time here now. Three runs to win. Four wickets needed by United. Their captain Sadi comes on to ball. Possibly for the last time today. Is there anything left in the season for these teams after today, or is this it? Uh, both Knight Riders and uh, United, they're not participating in the one-day format. They, they got knocked out earlier. The mm -hmm. semifinals are starting next week. That could be two there. They're going to look for two. Playing it safe. So this would be the end of the season for these guys, and it'd be a good way to cap it off for one of them. And yeah. the other one, uh, they at least got the local city championship, so some silverware to take home. Yeah. Well played there. He knew there was no fielder, nudged away for one. So two runs to win. So it'd be a nice way to cap off the season here for these two teams. They got knocked out of the one-day format early. But they're taking some silver home this year, so. Another single. And the scores are now level. One needed. One more run. That's the call. Over at the Knight Riders bench we need one more and that may and be that it. could be it that is, is it the run it is did not come off the bat was off the pad and yep there it is the night riders have defended their sastel cup championship it was a crawl to the wicket but they did it intelligently smartly no high adrenaline hitting required and well played to both teams. They really did. United fought till the very end, did not give anything away. What would you say, Prakar, was uh, the difference maker in this game? Uh, well, I believe the fielding. The, the uh, Knight Rider fielded really well up front. The catching was fantastic. And, uh, you know, like I said earlier, catches with matches when it comes to cricket. And United had a good first half. The first 10 overs are very good, and then something changed, and after that, it's been catch-up ever since, so they had the game, and they tend to drift, let it drift away a little bit, but thoroughly deserved Knight Riders. Second year running that they have won this trophy, so. Well, congratulations to them, and uh, for United, they'll have to settle this year being the champions of the Regina League. Prakar, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for... Uh, 
educating me on the sport of cricket today and your participation here was uh, much appreciated I'm sure by all the people who are going to have a chance to watch this and enjoy the game uh, very very well done thank you so very Thanks, much Heath. it was a pleasure as well and hopefully we can do this again next year my name is Heath Mulligan and on behalf of our entire Max TV local on demand crew thank you for watching and farewell from Douglas Park in Regina If you have program ideas that you'd like to see on Max TV Local On Demand, write us at max.local at sastel.com. Max TV programming is now available on Max TV On The Go at maxtvonthego.sastel.com.